And AIMS Global has been one of those um, associations that um, have given so many opportunities to people and work so closely with us institutions. And so I highly recommend them and I know that you will all now be able to have a lot more questions answered by talking to AIMS Global. Thank you very um, much. Sir, I want to get into the PG Dips and the Masters in Management and the Digital Business. Um, and I also know that you offer the Postgraduate Diploma in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, which you've told me that Correct. it's been popular. Um, and I know that there's a few offshore people joining us today. First of all, do you just want to talk to me about the digital business, please? I'm I am personally very interested in that course because it leads towards you know, digital marketing specialist and all those positions in the digital sector, which are absolutely in demand right now. That's right. So the digital business can go either way. It can go the IT way or can go the business way. So you would, if you're coming from an IT background, <coughs> excuse me, you would be choosing the programs on the IT line. If you're coming from the business side, you'd be choosing the digital business you know, side on, on, on the business side. But the kind of jobs that come out of this um, are well, all the logical ones, brand and digital marketing manager, automation um, manager, e-commerce entrepreneur, um, startup entrepreneur, um, digital platform managers, that kind of area. Um, and it's quite an exciting program that we, we um, are going with. This is the first year of running it. We actually run the postgraduate and we run a one and a half year masters and a two year masters. And the two year masters has um, the entry criteria is not as strict as the one and a half year masters. Well, to begin with, they come into the PG and then if they want to continue on studying, they can actually just go on to the next year of masters. Am I correct? Correct. So you can choose to do a one year PG or a one and a half year masters or a two year masters. Now, you would say, why would I do a two-year master's when I can do a one-and-a-half-year master's? It's about your entry level. So it depends on your background. Obviously, you're yeah. going to try to do a one-and-a-half-year master's. But the two-year master's is trying to take the place more of people who used to come into the graduate diplomas. So the entry level is not as tough as a one-and-a-half-year master's. So okay. one-and-a-half-year master's, you have to have a B entry to come into that the two year masters, you need to complete your degree. That's the difference. Okay. That the digital, so I'm just going back to the digital business. So you could have someone with a business background or with an IT background going into the digital business course, yes. right? Correct. You still have the same outcomes, they just choose slightly different papers. Am I correct? Well, um, the outcomes are you would choose papers that will go towards the business. So when you go online onto the EIT website, you can look at the program information and you will see that there's definitely a business stream and there's definitely an IT stream. So you would choose the papers that go according to what your interests are, what your background is. And that's where the job will be that you are interested in according to your background. Okay. So it gives you those choices. So yeah, that, that's what we and our students are finding it very um, yeah, interesting and, and exciting. This is he's done a master's in power engineering in 2016, I assume from India. Um, after that, he's got an experience as an assistant professor. Um, so I assume he's based offshore. Um, he wants to know if he's eligible for the postgraduate diploma in management or not. So I think he's possibly, the question's a bit incomplete, but he's possibly looking at moving into management and he wants to know whether he meets the requirements of getting into the postgrad or the masters of management. I think you always have to look at what your objective is, right? Um, so it depends if he wants to be um, working in the engineering side or the management side. And as you say, it's not a completely um, finished question. It, definitely if it's management, yes, it, definitely he can um, apply for the postgraduate or the masters. Um, but that, that is, and it's always tailored to what suits his background. Um, but you see, if you come in with your own skill, in this case it's engineering, you're adding the management to it. So you're adding that. Um, and so when you come out at the other end, you have your engineering and you have your management skills there. Yeah. So, okay. um, so uh, Pradeep, yes, you know, the answer is that if you are looking at a master's, yes, that's an option that you can possibly look at. Um, and Helen's quite rightly said that it's the objective. And when we pick up students and when we are doing student visas, finding the right course with them is probably the most important part of the process because you want to make sure that they start on the right foot. We don't want to set up a student to fail. Um, and so, you know, just working backwards with what your goal is and what the market here looks like are the questions that we will be asking you when we are looking at sort of what what's the right course.
terms of intake, I do know that, Helen, um, AIT offers more intakes than just July and Feb, am I correct? That's, we have eight intakes in a year. Eight intakes, so four in Auckland and four in um, Napier, yeah, for health science, business and IT. So would that be Feb, May, July? I'm just making it up, November? Sorry. Is that what <laughs> Yeah, Feb, March, Feb in, in Napier, March in Auckland, May in Napier, June in uh, Auckland, July in Napier, August in Auckland, uh, okay. October, that's two October, when yeah. uh, Auckland and Napier. Yeah. And so that's really good because a lot of people have got their visas expiring on the 25th of September, which have been extended due to the epidemic notice. And so they've got that, right. you know, either the August intake, if you want to be um, risk averse and apply sooner, or you've got the October intake, um, which can suit you. So those those are the two options for onshore people. Yeah, two, two October intakes, earlier one oh. and a later one, earlier one in Napier, a later one in Auckland. Okay. Cool.